So the Oshobo, um, it took us like maybe two, three weeks to get a confirmed contact or, and even where we want, how we wanted to go. Hello? Good afternoon, Mr. Kim. Good afternoon. We called you um, a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago. Okay. A week ago to tell you about um, the fabric. We, coming, we wanted to come and learn fabrics and how to do like a research on fabric in Oshobo. And you asked us to call you when we were short dates. Um, we're asking for information about the um, how are we going to see the the plant, the cotton plant, are we going to see the dye? We were also discussing about like, oh, like where are we going to stay? Apparently the guest house and stuff. Is it fully booked. It I was quite like irritated that like they kept on trying to get us to pay for things uh, and things because it was like we're just trying to record the process. I understand if you want us to pay for the recording, like a little bit of money for the recording and things, but it wasn't like we needed to um, pay for the materials, pay for the like dye and everything, if you're already doing it. So I didn't really understand why that was an issue and things. But um, yeah, that was one thing. Hello. Um, the guy we were chasing him, chasing him, the Shogo guy, chasing him, calling him different times. You say, call me back and different things, but he was definitely more reliable than the previous one. The previous one, like, they never really got back, they never got back to us, what am I saying? Like, and um, so we, we had just chased him and chased him until we got, like, answers to our questions and things. Hello? Hello, Eka Start charging us for different things. Yes, sir. Charging yes. us for tour guide. <laughs> We're just like, why do we need tour guide? Isn't it that you just show us the thing and then like we'll just record or a thing here and stuff? But uh, but we he kept on saying like when we get there, share when we get there. Quite um, brief, not detailed information and stuff. So that was funny and typical of Nigeria. <laughs> So we were on our way to Oshobo and things. So I just asked like um, the camera guy to be um, recording us and stuff like that, which is very uncomfortable for me. But I was like, I need to show people what we've been doing and things. And then the we then saw the patrol people and stuff. Hey, I was like, stop. Quickly, 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 put it down, put it down, because. That's how they'd be looking at us as if we have money or something, or like, you know, they just give us trouble, you know, Nigeria and stuff. So, <laughs> really, like, it was really funny <laughs> and stuff. But finally, we got to Oshobo and we got to uh, Mamanike Art Gallery. When we got there, we talked to the manager that we've been talking to for a while and things. Come to realize that they actually didn't have the cutting plan. Yeah. We made sure that we, you know, that what we wanted was there and things. But when we got there, it wasn't what we expected. But like, luckily, we, it was still a good thing that we went because, like, we then found they had the indigo dye pits and the indigo plants and stuff. And so we got to um, meet this guy, um, the dye guy, who was very passionate about his, um, his job and stuff. And he was telling us all about uh, it. And it was you want to really interesting. That's Elie. 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 That's where we are. Elie. Elie. The guy was explaining to us about the how the indigo dye is made and stuff. So you you pluck up some leaves from the um, indigo plant, you scrunch it up, you scrunch it up and make like 20, 121 balls and things and let it dry for like 21 days or like when it's completely dry. And then you, you then put it in like one of those dye pot things. And then you um, then have cocoa pod ash 
the water of it, a water of cocoa pot ash and some palm kernel ash, mix it together with the, uh, with the indigo water dye thing <laughs> and then it's, that's another 21 days and then it's ready to die and the dye lasts for like maybe another two months or something so it's a really long process to get like quite a short amount of time to die but the dyeing is beautiful and it's nice and stuff so that was interesting to um, discover and stuff. So another good thing about going to Oshogo was that um, we learned about um, Adire Eleko which is something I've already like I kind of already know but it's good to also repeat itself and like also for every all the our team to also know. So uh, Adria Aleko is um, made with cassava. So I want to cold water. it in as if I want to prepare my food. Food. Yes. Okay, okay. Going to be on the on the fire like this for like a 30 minutes. Then we will strain it with the straining cloth to allow the dirty to come out of this place. The guy then he takes us somewhere and puts cloth um, on the table and then shows us how he draws. Is this one pigeon feathers? Chicken feathers. Chicken. It? He said he's been doing it for like maybe like 20, 24 years or something ridiculous, which was quite amazing. Our tour guide took us to the place where um, they cut the, um, the cassava and then and then the, uh, the other place where they grind the cassava and things. So women tend to do the cutting of the cassava, the peeling of the cassava, and then the men do the um, grinding generally. And so the grinding, which is interesting, after grinding it, grinding the cassava, it's quite wet and things, so they have to like press it, press the cassava until all the water comes out. So they then leave it to dry for lafu and then for gari, they then fry it. So gari comes from cassava, but it's just um, made in different way, in a different way, and things which I found really cool, <laughs> and things. So um, that was it. That was pretty much our journey to um, Ushobo. and then we got to we got to stay in Mama Nike's um, guest house, which is really really nice, the best place <laughs> we actually slept in, and also. Um, in Oshobo, there's light. <laughs> there's so much light, and everywhere is peaceful and it's so nice and stuff. It's just like underdeveloped, but it's like as if it's developing very nicely, which was um, like hopeful for Nigeria. Yeah.